all right this one's about gates um, the gate signal that comes out of this trigger I, uh, I mounted it in a can <clears throat> has a little quarter inch output it's really just a piezo pickup in there and a little ring of metal put in a plastic case very simple they're used as microphones in some cases but they just basically respond to pressure so if I if I hit on this thing and tap it then it makes gate signals um, that gate signal is just on off basically so if I send the gate from that the gate output to the gate input of an envelope then this is the same basic patch I was using the last two videos then uh, it, right now I've got it opening and shutting the VCA so it's like every time I hit the gate it's like turning up and down the volume real basic stuff the uh, the shape of the envelope can make it I mean basically with this by itself it's just on off on off on off you know there's not a whole lot of character so just very short and very uh, um, kind of not real musical but with this envelope you can change the shape of the gate that it makes and it'll, it'll, it's got attack, decay, sustain, and release and the attack is the very beginning the decay is right after the attack sustain is where it will literally sustain the note and the release is after you've let go how long is it going to stay where it was at when it was sustaining so right now I've got the sustain about halfway up decays up attacks real short so it's going to start immediately and if I increase the release time then it lasts a lot longer but it's basically the same thing as a gate it's just shaped so really cool thing for drums and whatnot uh, you know just hitting it but if you want more of a um, even more control over the actual gate signal then I can use this um, ribbon controller and when I use that same basic thing happens if I just click it real uh, quickly you know same basic thing as hitting a, a trigger but with this one I can hit it and then hold it down and it'll just stay it'll stay exactly where the sustain is at so if I turn the sustain way up and just hold it down it just stays loud and then when I let go and the release happens so with this one you get a lot more uh, you know it's just another way to use the, the gate and get more nuance out of it the uh, the envelope right now has an output that is routed to the vo just basically the volume so <clears throat> if I did that same same signal turned up my volume so you could just hear what was going on then we can hear the effect of the gate on a filter and it's kind of like the LFO if I hit it you know it's basically making the envelope fire and it's moving the cutoff whenever I hit the gate the envelope fires and the shape of that envelope is moving the filters cut off around so make it all if I make it real short you hardly even hear an effect if I open it up a little more you know you hear it actually working and then the last one in this basic setup is to affect the pitch with the envelope and gates and in this case there's more than one way to get that signal into the oscillator 
and uh, in this case I'm just using the full range so it's, it's got basically all the way from the lowest point where it's like clicking to the highest point and within that range that envelope is adjusting the pitch in the same way that the filter and the amp was, it's literally the same kind of signal, except now the pitch is changing. Laser beams.